Hi, my name is Surawut Pontap Tong. I'm a principal solution architect here at Amazon Web Service. And we are so glad to have you join us today for AWS Summit 2021 session. This particular session, building cloud native food delivery platform within three months. As disrupt happened fast, Kun Panit will take this opportunity to share with us why the bank in Thailand moved into the food delivery business. How it start, why cloud, how they make it happen in three months. Agenda for today, we will talk about a brief history of Siam Commercial Bank. Why have they created food delivery platform? How did SCB do it in a cloud native platform? Next step of food delivery business. Please allow me to introduce Kun Panit Vichasin, Senior Vice President from Siam Commercial Bank. Over to Kun Panit Krab. Hi, everybody. Please allow me to give a brief introduction of SCB or Siam Commercial Bank. Siam Commercial Bank was established by Royal Chatter on January 30, 1907, as the first Thai bank. During its more than 110 years in business, the bank has played a leading role in providing the financial services need in Thailand, developing deep expertise. Today, SCB is a leading universal bank offering deposits, lending, and wide range of other products and services to meet the needs of our customers. SCB has around 1,400 people working under IT department. If we consider IT department as its own technology company, SCB is one of the biggest tech giants in Thailand. Coming to today's topic about SCB first non-financial business, food delivery, you might want to know why bank would like to jump into the business that no one think the bank would do. Looking back in 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has led to a dramatic loss of human life worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to public health. The virus has literally shut down the world. In Thailand, around mid of March, at a time we discovered hundreds of new cases and we didn't know how far it was going to get. The government decided to lock down the whole country to prevent the spread of the deadly virus. People had to stay home. During the lockdown, all the business that requires human interaction got hit very hard, especially restaurant. As you may know that Thailand is a land of delicious food, there are restaurants everywhere, ranging from street food to the one in five star hotel. All of them got impacted. Some were forced to quit the business. Several of them started to explore new opportunities using online food delivery service. Unfortunately, the online food delivery services has fee that the restaurant must pay called GP. It is around 30 to 40% of the order price based on the popularity of the platform. Some restaurants have to raise the price to cover the fee. Some reduce the portion size of the food. Sadly, several small restaurants or street food kiosks couldn't really afford to pay the fee as the food that they are selling already have tiny margin and will leave them nothing after paying the fee. SCB CEO Atit Nantavitiya initiated the idea that SCB as a bank, apart from the financial support we are giving to our customer, we could use our digitally transformed workforce to create more values to support our customer, society, and the country. The team has brainstormed and produced a new business idea to create food delivery platform. The platform is actually running initially on our CSR budget, so we can design the platform mainly to help the restaurants to get through the hardest time without considering much about profits and loss. One of the key selling points of Robinhood is that we collect zero fee from the restaurant. All the payment from the customer are all directly distributed to the merchant and the delivery service company. With a strong connection with the bank, we could make the payment to the restaurant as fast as within one hour. And if the order is canceled, we could refund the customer almost immediately. Robinhood has been developing using joint effort between SCB technology team and Purple Venture Company, which is one of the SCB subsidiary. 
Our SCB tech team has great knowledge on building apps. We have several homegrown applications in the store, for example, SCB Easy, our mobile banking flagship that has more than 10 million users. Our tech team work closely with staffs from Purple Venture, who are experts in several domains from the payment, food delivery industry, as well as marketing. Together, we have built Robinhood application and platform, which officially launched in October 2020. As we know that the pandemic situation is not going to get better soon, so we would like to bring Robinhood platform to the market as fast as we could. The plan was to create the first MVP in three months. In the first MVP, we have to build three components. First, customer app for customer to search for the restaurant, create order, and track their order status. Second, the merchant app for restaurant to take order and start cooking. Uh, we also need to provide a web portal for the larger store that might have multiple branches and complex menu structures to be able to easily manage the restaurant. Last is all the backend services, including the complicated clearing system that has built and run in the AWS cloud. We need the fast time to market, so the obvious choice would be using multiple building blocks provided by AWS. The rider platform for the delivery man with a short period of time, we know that it might be better to leave this part to the professional. So we work with one of the startup named Scooter, who has already been in the delivery business. Kuntana Tiena SCB's chief marketing officer at the time and CEO of Purple Venture, said we are going to challenge the global food delivery platform players. Customer won't care if this is a CSR project. If the app and the platform is bad, no one will be using it. So we have to raise the bar higher by using the same bank's standard. We did push ourselves hard to optimize every bit of the platform to ensure the best service to the customer. We told ourselves to work only using Olympic standard, not just a standard of local sports event. For example, the first ordering process flow made customer wait almost an hour before getting the food, which is not acceptable. We need to get the process done faster to 30 to 40 minutes and start optimizing the business process again and again until we get better results. We ran performance tests using more than uh, 10,000 orders per hour rate, ramp up the peak order lunch time to 3,000 orders at the same time by asking our SCB internal staffs to make real order to discover the problem and fix the flaws found in the system before the go live date. With all the timeline that's quite short, the standard that very just very high, let's see how did we actually build the Robinhood platform. At the time we started, the team has been working from home for a month. Food delivery is our best work from home friend. Too lazy to cook for lunch or a stuck in overtime meeting, no problem. We can always order food from one of the top provider in Thailand. We chose technology stack of Robinhood's project based on the existing experience of the team. The backend, we chose Node.js written in TypeScript running on Nest.js framework. The front end, we have consumer application built using native language and use React and React Native for merchant application and web portal. For the storage, Aurora MySQL is the foundation. We use Redis for caching, ELK stack for logging, and Firestore for synchronizing data with the client. At the infrastructure level, we use microservice architecture side by side with the serverless stack. The infrastructure deployment is completely automated using Terraform and Helm. With various building blocks from AWS, we could reduce the burden of creating everything from scratch. We have good foundation to build our platform. We use multiple types of compute blocks, EKS and Kubernetes cluster, Lambda functions and step functions for serverless, and AWS batch for long running process. We decided to use SQS and SNS as the migration blocks to integrate multiple domains together as message broker. 
with help from multiple data storage blocks for multiple data types, for example, S3 for file storage, Aurora MySQL for online transactional data, Elasticsearch for logs, Elastic Cache for service level data caching. We don't have to spend a lot of time building these services up. They could also be scaled up and down based on the needs of our use cases. Now, let's see a few design examples of Robinhood's platform. Robinhood has four major domains, merchant, landing, browsing, order processing, and post-ordering. Merchant domain looks after the shop onboarding and menu setup. Landing and browsing take care of uh, landing homepage of the app and provides restaurant and food searching capabilities. Order processing domain manage the order taking, order processing, and the status update to the customer when the food is coming. Last but not least, post ordering looks after the completed order clearing, fund transfer to related parties, all the reconciliation and reports. We use SQS as the message broker for interdomain communication. One of the critical components of the system is order processing microservice. Order processing microservice is the heart of the Robinhood platform. It handles all the processing of the orders. We designed order processing using choreography pattern with SQS as the event broker. We apply unidirection event to flow the data out from the back into the order processing microservice for ease of traceability. Inside the order processing microservice is a complex state machines that we specifically crafted to achieve the high processing speed. All the events sending to order processing microservice is coming through SQS 54Q to ensure the sequence correctness of the messages. Another interesting part in our platform is that we decided to do the post ordering domain all in server Slack. There are multiple stages of processing for each order completed event. The message is flowing through each Lambda functions to perform actions like calculating the amount to be paid to merchant or rider platform, perform an actual fund transfer, or refund the money back to the customer in case of order cancellation. Finally, at the end of the day, we have batch processing for several daily tasks like transaction reconciliations, tax invoice generations, and multiple operation reports. We decided to use step functions to control the flow of multiple Lambda functions for these tasks. Here's an example of one of the step functions we created. There are a few tricks we put together to get these step function and lambda functions work for long running batch processing. For example, we create an iteration loop for rendering thousands of merchant daily report. These are a few design examples that we leverage building blocks from AWS to create a food delivery platform in a very short period. Until now, what we have delivered are just the first MVP launch. Robinhood platform has a long journey ahead of us. In 2021, we have ambitious plan to scale up the platform. We plan to increase number of rider from 10,000 to 20,000. We plan to acquire more restaurants from 54,000 restaurants to 150,000 restaurants. We plan to have served 1 million users. With the growing of three pillars, we are expecting gross transaction value through Robinhood platform at the 1.5 billion Thai baht. At the product level, in 2021, we are delivering features to allow customers to order food from multiple restaurants at the same time. We would like to add more innovative payment methods to the platform apart from using mobile banking and credit card. We are allowing users to give ratings and reviews to shops and we are making the landing page more attractive with a personalized dynamic restaurant playlist. From the merchant platform, we took feedback from our restaurant partners that they would like to have easier chop and menu management. 
some shop would like to take order directly from their POS. And we would like to allow multiple devices running in the same branch for the BC restaurant. We are also looking at creating new business model from the platform we have built. We know that several food delivery giants would like to jump into providing financial service. But for Robinhood, our background is banking. So providing financial service is a natural choice for us that we can do very well. Second is the supply chain fulfillment. We have good relationships with the restaurant and we can also help them further by becoming the fulfillment center, bridging them with the big food suppliers. Third is providing business service to the newly set up restaurant to help them grow together with Robinhood and our partner. The last thing is to use the data we are collecting to support the sales of our restaurant partners. There's a lot more to come and we are really excited for what we can do with these new opportunities. Thanks so much, Karp Kun Panit. We can see that business strategy with the right technology enables the business to adapt to situation fast and effectively. By using AWS, we don't just provide a building block for application development. We have a security, operation model, data management, and governance as part of our platform. With Architect Pattern, it reduces the burden of trial and error when creating a new application. Apart from today's session, if you're looking for enablement, feel free, free to visit aws.com slash training. Thanks again, Krab. Don't forget to fill in a survey form for this session. Goodbye.